Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. We're coming back at you with a bit of a tool haul this time. Uh, this is stuff I've accumulated, I guess, in the last couple of weeks, last few weeks, from garage sales and also uh, retail, like retail secondhand shops and stuff like that. Uh, some kind of interesting stuff, I think. Uh, some stuff you don't get to see that often. I'm thinking, uh, let's check it out, let's get, jump into it, oh, but before we jump into it, you know I have my goal going on, I didn't reach it, yeah, it's the end of the summer, by the end of the summer I was hoping to get 2,000 subscribers, and I'm hoping to reach it sometime soon, so if you guys can help me out, give me the HBO special, HBO stands for help a brother out, help a brother out, hit the like, hit the subscribe, so I can reach my goal, and be happy, okay guys, uh, let's start over here. This is a garage sale, and I found some wrenches, and I don't really need wrenches. I just pick and choose particular wrenches that I think are interesting, uh, not because I really uh, need them, like I said, but uh, just because of the makes and models, usually, or any interesting features they have on this one, on the wrenches. Uh, this one I picked up because it, it had Challenger and it had the big Challenger <laughs> with the helmet. It has like a little uh, like a Roman helmet or something gladiator helmet there. And MFD, when you see letters like that, MFD, to me that's a dead giveaway that uh, it's Proto. Uh, and Challenger was a Proto uh, company. So here's a 516 combo and a 7 eighths and it can't be that old because maybe it is i don't know but it has these printed letters on them and i don't think they did met many printed letters back in the day so mm, maybe 80s i'm gonna gonna say on that one and here's another wrench this one is crescent but the interesting thing about this one is uh it reminds me of barcalo a Barcolo and Crescent had bought Barcolo in the 60s so uh, they had this design which is like a swept kind of uh, design there you see that inlet it's kind of swept in there so I guess uh, Crescent was using uh, some of the Bar Barcolo uh, manufacturing methods this one also it's another Crescent with the same uh with the same uh features and here's another interesting wrench from a company that's uh that was around but kind of mysterious maybe not vanadium tool company and uh they turned into vanadium tool corp according to uh alloy artifacts and this is probably from the 60s and I've seen I think I have one other one of uh, vanadium tool a wrench and they always have the numbers the 16 millimeters they always have the numbers deep deeply pressed but the name on <clears throat> the tool name itself is like lightly pressed you see how deep that is compared to that uh, talk is that these are Mac these were made by Mac uh, back then. Uh, Mac did have a factory pretty close to where Vanadium Tool Company comes from. So, and these look a lot like Macs from that period. <coughs> and what else? Oh, I did find a snap-on. Here's a snap-on. This is a three-eighths combo. Uh, OEX. One two USA no date code on this one that I can see uh, there so it's pretty cool and this other small small wrench a proto three eighths uh, they call these uh, carburetor wrenches or something like that ignition wrenches and I found a crescent extension this is a half inch crescent the ls12 usa 
I'm thinking this is probably right because Wright was making stuff or they were making ratchets for Crescent at one point. So I'm going to give a guess and say that this was a Wright made <coughs> tool. And I found this knife. I know you guys love when I bring out knives. And this is an electrician knife. This one is pretty brand new. So it ain't like the old, <laughs> the busted knives I usually buy at garage sales. This is Klein and Sons. Has a G on it. Uh, it says Chicago. This one's in pretty nice shape. Uh, I get this blade out. This one has the lock on it, the screwdriver blade. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> and the lubricants, of course, when I go anywhere doing garage or yard sales, I'm always looking for lubricants. Uh, here's a Lockies, AGS Lockies, which is a popular lock lubricant. This is pretty full. Pick that up and this is probably the most kind of strange uh, pickup from that garage sale. This is an x uh PS44 screw locks compact set. I couldn't find anywhere a set that was similar to this, a PS44, when I looked online. This one, uh, the other ones I saw that were like this. They had uh, nut drivers, small nut drivers, but this one has flat heads and has these square shank uh these square shank uh drivers x lights and it's missing two missing two i think so and it's starting to smell it's starting to smell like uh that vomit smell of deteriorating uh plastic i, I think x -Lite had a problem with that because i've i found other x lights they had the similar smell deteriorating plastic so this and the wrenches and the lubricant and the knife and all that i think i paid ten dollars for at a garage sale and today i stopped at a garage sale and picked up some of this stuff here's a doesn't have a name or nothing on it it's just a kind of a sheep foot utility knife but looks like it's uh in good shape and of good make uh comes with this leather sheath i don't think maybe this came with it because it has two two holders there but the guy had a cup a few of these with holders and this one was the one in best shape the other ones were kind of like uh resharpened a lot and you can the blade was getting worn so I picked this one up with the case and I don't know I thought that makes a pretty good utility knife a fixed utility and he also had a couple of these uh, push drills this is a Stanley Yankee number four four one y or four i y made in usa bell systems yeah that makes sense because this guy he had a lot of tools that seemed like bell systems like i'm sure that this is kind of used in bell systems to split wire or something and there were other tools that i noticed that were kind of bell bell looking and here's another one i picked up these two Stanley, this one doesn't have bell systems on it. It's the same thing, Stanley 41Y. It has a B down here. I don't know if that's bell systems. These came with, uh, this one came with a couple of uh, three rusty little bits. And this one came with a good, a good amount of, I guess, non-rusty bits. So I guess this one's the winner. As far as the surprise I got, uh, and also this screwdriver is an Irwin USA F5. I'm gonna say picked it up because it's a big flat head, but it isn't long. 
it isn't like those super long flatheads usually when you see a head like that on a flathead it always has like a long shank on it this one's kind of big but not not you know kind of not too big or not as big the handle is big though see the handle my hands are kind of small but this is a bigger than average handle and the tip is in nice shape i don't think this saw much use has a little bit of pitting on it but i thought it was pretty cool just for the size and the head the size of the flathead and uh, and this bottle of wd-40 it's about half full uh, pick this up also usually I'm on the lookout for WD-40 and I find it and it's usually real cheap so I'll pick it up uh, the stuff you just saw the screwdriver the x light the knife uh, the utility knife the push drills uh, that was like 10 bucks oh oh I missed something it was 10 bucks including this uh, this was the last item from that sale. This is a set of clench wrenches. Uh, the harder you pull, the tighter it grips. And it comes with an 8 inch and a 6 inch. I have never seen these before. <coughs> They're craftsmen made in USA and they came in the package. And I'm always happy when I see American made stuff. Especially as it, it's in the package. Pretty new. And this is what uh, some of the writing says there, how to use it. And also available in 10 inch. So this also came in a 10 inch and made in USA. And as always, wear safety goggles. And this one is brand new. This one was outside of the package. You can see there's a little, there's a little uh, wear on the letters, but brand new also. I don't see any wear on the tool itself. So I'll pick that up. That and all the other the push drill, screwdriver, WD-40 knife. That was ten bucks. And I think this is this is retail. Yeah, yeah, this is retail. Uh, this is retail retail. Here's <laughs> another cheapy knife I picked up from Walmart. Is a fixed blade. I'm kind of into fixed blades nowadays. Like my everyday carry is a fixed blade, a small fixed blade like this. I just, uh, I don't know. I just think that they're stronger. And you know, you know how you get into, uh, you get into phases. Uh, I guess I'm in my uh, fixed blade phase. It comes with this. Clip is removable from the sheath. It clicks in, comes out. I guess you can put a lanyard around it and carry it around your neck also. I thought it was okay. Six bucks for this. Uh, seems pretty sharp. Don't know what the metal is made of though. Retail is this. I picked this up for six, five or six bucks. I think it was five bucks. It's a Crescent USA uh, 50-8 and I don't know. don't know who made this if Crescent made it. I doubt if Crescent made it. I don't know if they were making uh, these lineman pliers. It's, uh, pretty good shape. Uh, doesn't look like there's much use. Don't know why they always have an opening here. I, f I find a lot of uh, lineman pliers with that opening there. I uh, think it would be better if it was f just flush. So you can grab something really thin. This also, I think I paid five bucks for this. Five or six dollars. Uh, maybe overpaid for this. Uh, it's kind of, wait a second. It kind of reminds me of this. Don't it? Yeah, it's pretty much a similar type of tool. This is Universal Urban 2000 wrench made in China, uh, Japan. And it's spring, has a leaf spring here. It's spring loaded, has big teeth. 
uh, don't look like it's seen a whole lot of use chrome vanadium steel patent pending 10 inch uh, maybe maybe not so great but I thought it was okay oh uh, here's a little I usually stop by the clearance rack at Lidl and usually they'll have some tool stuff in there. Here's a couple of tools that I picked up. Uh, this diagonal cutter plier with the big secure grip here so you won't slide up <laughs> and I don't know, touch, touch the metal I guess. Uh, these seem okay. They, I tested them out on pretty thin wire and they performed okay. I'll probably just keep these on my bench as a kick around pair because I think I put away all my other ones because uh, I had to clean out uh, my workbench. So, and I don't even know where I put the other ones, so I have that one. Here's another clearance item from Lidl Parkside Metric Center Punch Set. Was, uh, $3.49 for five, that's a pretty good price. Center punches, you know, we all need them. I usually pick them up every time I see them. And for a decent price, not bad. And this was some other retail stuff. Here's the, the price. <laughs> The doofus put the price on the plastic with a marker, and that's not coming out. If you guys know how to get that out, let me know. Because uh, I would really like <laughs> to get that out. That looks pretty bad. This is one of those Craftsman uh, adjustable wrenches. This is a smaller one. This is the... 43378, I think made in USA a lot of people like these no, I, don't have, I don't have much I got a couple of these I don't think I've used them much but seems pretty good pretty good oh, all around thing I guess like an adjustable wrench would be and I picked up this uh, Husky 3 eighths ratchet made in probably Taiwan this doesn't look USA and it came with this attached to it does it come out <laughs> wait a second oh boy let me get that screwdriver Ugh. you know what this doesn't want to come out so okay I'll just leave it like that uh, yeah just a regular 22202 uh, Husky these are good for they're not bad ratchets they're okay I guess these are good loaners if you pick them up for like a dollar or two and you always have those people that want to borrow your tools and never return them I guess it's a good way of uh not losing good tools and it came with this attached to it. it it'll come out but i just i just need to like get the proper tools to do it and right now i don't have them near me uh it came with a proto uh 52 5241 uh phillips number two phillips head socket that's not destroyed it's pretty cool i don't really see these that often a 3 uh Phillips head like that Prado and what's left here here's a lock cylinder six pin lock cylinder uh, Anderson window I like locks too I collect kind of lock stuff and I'm not really into picking locks too much I just like the mechanisms like I do with ratchets uh, I think the the lock mechanisms are pretty interesting I like taking them apart and stuff so if I see some old locks usually they have them really cheap at garage sales you can pick them up for like a dollar or two 
if I see something interesting, I might pick it up. I saw this brand new cylinder. I picked that up. And this Proto 278 uh, pliers. I think this is like an 8 inch plier. Slip joint plier. Picked that up. Seemed pretty good. And I think for that. The last four tools, I think I paid like seven bucks for that. Uh, for the the ratchet, the plier, the cylinder, and something else. What was it? Oh, and the adjustable wrench. And this is probably one of my favorite things I found today at a garage sale. <laughs> I found this little toolbox. And I was like, oh, that's cool, a little toolbox. But when I opened it up, it actually had drawers with tools in it. Well, not real tools, but like little uh, molded tools that came with the drawers. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, nothing works when it's on camera. <laughs> It's a screwdriver drawer, and over here, I had some drawers. This is the big tool drawer, hammers, and all kinds of stuff, big wrenches. Over here, it's just empty. I thought that was pretty neat. All right, guys, so let me know what you think uh, of this little tool hole retail and uh garage sale yard sale etc uh all right that's all i have for now i'll check you guys later until next time